Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory great things he has done hallelujah praise the lord let's give him all the glory great things he has done and he's continued to do and now ask not how did you know that you were cancer free um uh, i went and did a CT scan after the sixth session of my chemotherapy. I did a CT scan just to see how far is the lamp, uh, is the medicine working or mm -hmm. not. I went and did a CT scan and uh, the results were like, uh, the lamps are not there. Okay. And wow. I remember the doctor who was doing the scan, he asked me, asked me where exactly were the lamps? I, I told him, you are the one who did it and he <laughs> said, I had the lamps on my left breast. Mm -hmm. Can He told me, but I cannot see them. Mm -hmm. And deeply inside me, I said, God, yes. make him not to see them. Amen. And he wrote the report to my oncologist saying that uh, I cannot see the lamps, the lamps are not there. Wonderful. And my oncologist said that uh, I, even though the lamps are not there, we will have to just finish the chemotherapy. I'm telling you, I never, if there is a, there is a fault that we, I had to fight with my doctor and my people to start it was the journey of chemotherapy. Okay. So for me, when the doctor said the, the, the lamp was not there, mm. I was like, why can't they stop this? Yes. Thing? Because I'm suffering mm -hmm. going through this. Yeah. But now they said, no we still have two sessions mm -hmm. to go. I told myself, God, you who has given me strength mm. since day one, yeah. I've come this far, mm. you, will, you will help me to, to see the end of this. Wonderful. So I, I finished the chemotherapy and the doctor wrote a, a report. Uh, he, he said that now as we have to go uh, and do mast mastectomy and remove the breast. But he said, if we have to help you because you, you have never given birth, you are still a young girl, you've not gotten married, mm. you are afraid of losing your breast, we can, we can do a breast conserv conservative surgery whereby we, we don't remove the old breast. But mm. now, because the, the, the lamps are not there, we mm. cannot really detect where they were. Mm -hmm. So you will have to go for a PET scan okay. and it is only done in Agakan, Nairobi. Okay. So that we can, it can help us know exactly where, if there are some traces of uh, cancer cells still in the breast, mm. we know where to operate and yeah. save your breast. I told him it's okay, but he told me that is the only option that I can give you. But another option is we remove the old breast, and mm. I couldn't withstand that news mm -hmm. because I remember that I remember I used to tell God I will not lose my breast. Mm -hmm. My breast will satisfy my children, Amen. and I used to get hold of them and tell them, God, I declare that I will not lose my breast. Amen. And that is the one the word that I walked with until Amen. the end. So I told God. I will go for the PET scan and told God, though the bill is expensive, I'm being told it is 70,000. I don't know where I get, I'll get that money because mm -hmm. I've really spent all the chemo uh, sessions. It was like 30,000 for uh, chemotherapy sessions, even though the NHIF will pay, uh, but uh, it is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So I said 70,000. Mm -hmm. I told God, you will still provide. Yeah. So I went to Aga Khan. Uh, the NHIF paid 40,000. I was left with 30,000 uh, likely to pay. Mm. And my, my family came in, my people came in. They helped me to raise the money. I did the PET scan. And after the three days, the results were out. I went with the res I took the results and I went with them to another oncologist at Aga Khan Hospital, mm. uh, which I was referred to my friend of mine. Mm. And he went through the results because I couldn't interpret to myself. So mm. I said, let me take them to someone who know how to read this mm. so that he can tell me exactly yeah. where, where I am. Mm. But inside me, mm. I'm telling you, my dear, I'm, you are <laughs> I know I'm healed. You I'm are not as afraid free of anything. As bird. Free. Mm. I'm Amen. free and I know. Actually, I knew and mm. I knew that 
they will not operate on me. Mm, amen. They will not. Mm. So I went and uh, sat in the hospital, in the, in the office, I, I'm sorry, and the doctor went through the results. You know, he's seated there and I'm here, mm. uh, seated here, and he's looking at the results, looking at me. Looking at, you know, somebody can go through something and he's looking at, it's like there's something he's not getting. Yeah. Something is not connecting. Yes. And he asked me, asked it. Who is the patient? I told him, I'm asking it, the patient. He's asking me, are you sure you were told you have cancer? I said, yes, you can even go through my, my previous doctor mm. reports. He said, yes, I can see, but I cannot, uh, the report that uh, we just, there, there is dust that we just uh, got from the PET scan shows that you don't have the cancer cells Amen. in your body. Amen. And I told God, yes, Amen. yes, God, you have done it. Hallelujah. And he said, are you sure? He asked me, are you sure mm -hmm. that you were told? I said, yes, I was told that I have cancer. He asked me. And I, even my breast, my, yes. my, I saw my breast I saw, yeah. dis, uh, getting some discharge. Yeah. He yeah. asked me, what age are you? I told him I'm 28. He said, where did you get? Have you ever had the history of breast cancer in your family? No. I said, uh, okay, uh, who did the biopsy? I told him, another doctor in Kakamega, he said that, uh, could, we, can, could you please uh, help me to get that sample so that we at Aga Khan, we can do our own examination and see if this was really cancer? I told him that would be another process. Mm -hmm. How will I start getting a sample that was taken in March you know, February? Mm -hmm. Where will I get that sample? And it, again, it was not done in like, Kakamega. It was done in Nairobi at Lancet Lab. Maybe they have disposed it. Mm -hmm. He said the only option is to get that sample. If we don't get it, I cannot operate you. Mm -hmm. I will cancel the the the, 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 the surgery. And remember, before even uh, I had asked their surgery, the, how much their surgery cost, and they were, had told me that it's half a million. And I was like, where do I get this money? So I told God, Lord, remember, I have never given you an offering of five hundred thousand <laughs> on the altar. Yes. How can you allow me to give the devil? Uh, 500,000, oh, Lord, that, yeah. when you are watching, this mm -hmm. one will not happen. Yeah. So he told me that we, I will not operate on you because there is nothing I will be removing. Yes. How can I operate when I cannot see anything? We only operate when there is a swelling, there is a lump, yeah. is when we can do, but I will be... I will be temp tempering with your body mm. as a young girl. Yeah. So what I can advise you, I want you to go home, eat healthy, live a stress-free life, oh, no. and just be coming or be, be doing checkup regularly mm. to see how far you are. Okay. And that is how I was declared, to <laughs> me, I was declared healed, and that is what, that is the word that I took. Amen. Yes. And you walked out of the office and yeah. said, hallelujah. hallelujah. To God be the glory. Yes. Wonderful. Our God is a healer. Amen. Our God is faithful. Amen. And even for those that are going through cancer yes. treatment right now, we speak healing upon their lives and their bodies in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. And they will testify. Yes. Only if they change their mind, they transform. Mind. Yes. In yes. Jesus' name. According to Romans chapter 12, verse 2, yes. the Bible says that we should not be conformed to the world, no. but we, we should transformed be transformed by, by the renewing of our minds. Mind. Yes. We are transformed by putting the word of God in yes. our lives and begin to do it. Yes. If he said we were healed, we were healed. We were healed. In the name of Jesus. That is what we take and run with it. Amen. Amen. And now Asnet, yes. when we started, you said one of the things that you suffered through the illness was that you are, you are, you had plans to get married. There was somebody, but he couldn't oh, withstand yes. the news yes. that you got sick. Yes. So, and he took off. Yes. Did he tr come back? What's your position right now? Are you married? What is happening? Well, um, he, he did not come back. Mm -hmm. He went and later on when he heard the news that I was healed, yeah. he sent me a text telling me that Asnet, I salute the God that you serve. Okay. And I'm sorry about what happened, me not being there for you when you really needed me. Mm. And he was honest that he couldn't withstand, he, could, he did not have the grace mm -hmm. to see me go through that. Okay. So for him, the only thing that he thought of, we thought was best for him, is just to go mute, quiet on me. Take off. Yeah, and take off and never even bother to call and mm -hmm. come back. 
So uh, I told him, I've forgiven you. And he said that I pray the grace that has worked in your healing and you settling down in uh, that may also work in my life. I told him, so shall it be according to your heart desires. Amen. So I <clears throat> forgave him. He's my brother. Mm -hmm. We talk. Okay. I never uh, carried him in my heart. Mm -hmm. He's my friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just accept that he did not have the grace mm -hmm. and God had a reason. Yeah. yeah. So are you waiting on God to get married? What's the position? Because I can see you with a <laughs> wedding band. <laughs> oh my God, I got married oh, wow. this year in June. Oh, God wow. blessed me with a, a handsome man. Wonderful. Uh, who came in as a friend during that season mm -hmm. and he walked with me. He he saw me with my uh, my, uh, my with my empty head oh, without the, the hair. Yes, yeah. he saw me. Right. Yes, mm. during that season he was there as a friend. He walked okay. with me and he used to encourage me. As it, I'm praying for you. Will get well, Amen. and I remember at a point uh, in November, he told me, Asnit, I love you, oh. and me, I would love, I like, I would love to marry you. I told him in this condition, and he said, I don't, I, I, I'm not afraid of anything. Oh. What oh. I know, you're getting healed, Amen. and we will get married. Amen. And this year, he proposed to me. Last year, I mean, he, oh. this year, oh, this year, he proposed yes, to me. Yeah. yeah, he proposed to me, and oh. we. Uh, we started our plans to get married and we got to, we, our wedding was in, in June 26 and oh. we are happily married family we are doing well Amen. God has been faithful hallelujah yes what a mighty God we serve yes that story has not been all rosy it has not been a walk in the park but the end oh God is so good and we just only can say thank you to the Lord and we want to encourage somebody at home who is watching us and watching and listening to us net and what she went through. We want to say that may God minister healing to you who needs healing. Yes. If you need provision, he's the same God yesterday, today and forever. If you need protection and direction, the same God is we together with us and together with you. Mm -hmm. May God richly bless you. You are the healed of the Lord because it says so in the word of God and that settles it. Amen. But what you need to do as Asnet did, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Know that the healing that was given to us over 2,000 years ago is still in operation in your sure. life. Yes. You are the healed of the Lord. Until we meet again next time, Sunday for another wonderful episode of the Virtuous Woman Show. May you be blessed, may you be covered, and stay in the healing power that Jehovah has already given to us through his son, Jesus Christ. You are the blessed of the Lord. Bye. <music>